So I filmed a get ready with me this morning and then I realized I wanted to film another get ready with me but I don't have a change of top because I'm in my new studio. So the top stays the same, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, I did just pop this spot and when I say it flew, it flew. Yep, I'm a pimple popper, pimple popper and proud. And pff, that one was really good, not gonna lie. But today, you're all gonna unsubscribe. You're all gonna hate mob me. You are not going to be happy with what I have to say today. I'm really sorry. But things are changing once again. I know I've been kind of teasing that things are gonna change for quite a while now, but they're really changing. They really are changing. They're coming to the end of the year now and with that comes change, with that comes reflection and all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna talk you through that today while I do my makeup. I wanna match my nails to my eyes today. I think that'd be a really fun idea. And to do that, I'm gonna use my Carnival XL Pro because it's got every single color in the world in it. I did go through my makeup collection and try and find a palette with these colors in there, but I just couldn't find them apart from this. So we're gonna use it. What a shame. But I also might dig into my Titanium Foxes palettes as well, cause they have kind of similar vibes. So this is Poppy Storm and you can see there is some like dark blues and oranges here. And then Poppy Quiet has more of the like pastel blues and oranges. I don't know. I don't know, got no plan. I have got a plan this time. I kind of vaguely know what I'm doing no idea about the rest though. But just before we do jump into this video, if you have not already, like and subscribe. I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel. I love bright, fun, colourful makeup. I love reviewing things. I love chit-chatting. I love shop my stashes. I just love all of it. And things are changing, like I said before, but for the good, I think. I think it's going to be fine. I think everything's going to be fine in the end. <laughs> It really hurts to like move my brows now because of this thing. It was brewing. Let me tell you, it was a brewing. So I've just primed with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. It is the primer that I use every single time I do my makeup. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna set that with a shade from Poppy Storm, this shade Summer Love. Summer is well and truly gone here in the UK. We got a good two days maybe and now it's back to absolutely throwing it down so <laughs> fun times okay so i have a vision and the vision is a blue like winged blend and then on the inner corner an orange like bright neon orange and then maybe i can like cut the crease and then do some like flowers. I don't know how this is gonna go <laughs> i seem to always get like big ideas and then just like not do very well with them so we'll see <laughs> i'm gonna start with lights out which is the black so i've said for quite a while now that i am going to be cutting back on project panning and i'm gonna be kind of focusing on more not review based content necessarily but just like trying new things i feel really burnt out with project panning just because i really haven't had the opportunity to actually use my collection when you project pan you hyper focus on one product and use it until it is used up or use it until you've hit a crazy usage goal or hit pan goal or something like that and naturally doing things like that it's great i love doing it it fills me with so much joy but I've kind of realized that I'm not using my makeup collection at all. And my wider makeup collection is kind of just sitting there gathering dust while I hyper focus on the very like few products that I'm trying to finish. And it's kind of made me sad and it's kind of made me want to pull back a little bit on project panning. Not much. I did make a video a while ago basically announcing that I wasn't going to be doing as many project pans anymore and it didn't go down very well. Um, you guys, well maybe not you guys, but there were a few people who thought I was abandoning my audience and just not very grateful. However, like, you need to change. Like, you can't be the same person forever. If you just think I'm abandoning you and abandoning the people who have got me so far, like, I'm really sorry to hear that, but, like, I don't... 
I don't feel like I can just stay in one lane forever, even if I'm unhappy, and even if I don't want to do that anymore. So I wanted to say that straight off the bat, there were a lot of people who were very vocal in their, I don't know how to say it, in their dislike for the changes that I was planning to make. But at the end of the day, I've got to do what's best for me. I've got to do what's best for my channel, my lifestyle, everything like that. And I felt like cutting back on Project Pans was the right thing to do. And I still do think that as well. The end of the year is coming up and the end of the year is when a lot of these projects end and then they kind of pick up again in January and I've been thinking long and hard about which project pans I want to say goodbye to and which project pans I want to carry on into 2025 which is terrifying to say that I hate that 2025 excuse me. <laughs> there are, of course, staple project pans that I'm going to be continuing with. Um, I'm going to kind of do this gradient here. So mood, make waves, and then soft spot just on that outer wingy shape, just so I don't have to say every time I change colour. But I have thought a lot recently about what I want to continue. So continuing on is pan that palette obviously. I did actually introduce a brand new pan that palette in my update this month, so it would be really, really strange of me to introduce a brand new pan that palette, and then in a few months to just be like, yeah, it's going. <laughs> Bye! So I'm definitely continuing pan that palette. I'm thinking I will probably be continuing pan that face palette. That's like 80% sure as of right now. Of course, things can change. <laughs> Things can change in the drop of a hat, but as of right now, Pan That Face Palette is not going anywhere. I really enjoy doing that, and it's a Pan That Palette that I don't get too stressed out about. Pan That Eyeshadow Palette can be stressful, let me tell you that. So having a Pan That Palette that's not as stressful is definitely nice. So I, yeah, I think I do definitely want to keep pan that face palette. I will also be keeping pan those eyeshadows, of course. It is my absolute favourite project to do. I do not want to get rid of pan those eyeshadows because it's just so fun for me. I love the randomization aspect and I love getting use on my eyeshadow collection as well. I love my eyeshadow collection to look a little bit beaten up, a little bit bruised, not pristine. I know some people love a pristine beautiful makeup collection. I love the look of a toddler just going all in, you know, pans everywhere. But I've been doing pan those eyeshadows for a very, very, very long time and I want to keep that going. I really, really like it. I know you guys really, really like it as well. And so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be continuing on with that one. One I felt I was kind of umming and eyeing about, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, was Project 10 uses. However, I have recently reduced the number of the products in that project. I went from 10 down to 8 now, I think. 7 or 8. I think it's 8. I don't know. <laughs> and since I've done that, I'm enjoying it a lot more. It's kind of not very stressful anyway, but it's now even less stressful. It also allows me to get some really nice use on things that I get in PR and things like that. It kind of lets them not just sit there and gather dust. It's like a less stressful kind of usage goal, which I really, really like. So I am going to be keeping that one as well. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say my, my main role in Project Pan. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. I forgot about that one. That's like the main one on my channel. Um, that's definitely not going anywhere. I really, really like that one and I know you guys do as well. It's like the main one. I can't believe I just forgot that one, but yeah, that is staying. Um, I will maybe, I don't know, add a no eyeshadow rule onto that project just because it, it gets very overwhelming. Obviously with pan that palette and pan those eyeshadows, it just gets a lot. When eyeshadows are then moved into other projects as well, it's it's not <laughs> it's not fun. It takes away the the fun aspect of things, and it just kind of makes me stressed. So I might add a no eyeshadow rule on to that project. So that kind of leaves a lot of other projects undecided. Um, I have decided on a few, the fate of a few. So first, let's talk about pan that palette in order. I don't know what I want to do with that one. I'm really not sure, just because. 
it's not like super difficult for me to do. It's only one shade every month. However, right now I find myself abandoning that project completely until like a week before the update. And then I like panic. And then I'm like, oh my God, pan that palette and order's due. And I've not done anything about it. And then I like panic for the week and then try my best to like do as many looks with that shade as possible. Maybe that's just a management thing or a time management, something like that. I could probably get over that little rut, but I'm not saying yes, but I'm not saying no to that project. I, I just don't really know right now. Let me know if you really, really, really want that to be continuing on to 2025, because if most of you are saying that you really, really want to keep it, then I will keep doing it. So then um, there's also No Pan Left Behind, which I have recently reintroduced to my channel. I did actually do a finale for No Pan Left Behind a few months ago, because again, I was just really stressed with eyeshadow. I might incorporate that into my everyday makeup draw series and whatever palette I roll into that series is my no pan left behind, if that makes sense. So I might not do a dedicated video for no pan left behind, but I will kind of be continuing it on outside of a dedicated video. So I think, I don't know, I just think that's the best way to go about it. What do you think? I think it's just going to be an easier way to go about things and it will also cut the amount of palettes that I'm trying to work on as well. I found that in the few months that I've been doing my everyday makeup draw series, a lot of my eyeshadows are still going neglected because I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. I've got so much going on that adding more palettes in my everyday makeup draw is just not <laughs> it's not going well. So if I can incorporate No Pan Left Behind with Everyday Makeup Draw, I think that's going to be a lot better. This orange is so vibrant. Wow. That's like even more vibrant than my nail. I'm flipping you off right now, but that's so, so, so pretty. This is the shade Lit, this one. And I'm going to try my best to blend it into the blue. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try my best. These aren't really wanting to blend together, but I can't really blame them because they are very different shades. So I'm just going to try and put some of the lighter blue to transition them a bit. And I think that's working a lot better. Okay. What do we think into this? This is definitely a lot smokier than this. This vibe is very summery. It's very like fresh. It's very light. And I've just done a grunge mad moment on my eyes. But you know what? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Um, we're going to do something. We're going to do something to try and change this a little bit. Whenever I do a cut crease, I always feel like I'm just like leaving you all in suspense for like 10 minutes because I don't talk at all because it's so difficult to talk and do a cut crease. Obviously I know that I'm gonna cut all of that out, but I'm just like, hear me talk and then just like nothing for 10 minutes. <laughs> but um, let me do the other eye. And I'm sure a few of you will have deducted maybe the two project pans that I have not spoken about yet and well I'm just gonna do my cut crease and I'll, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> so one of the projects that I have not mentioned yet is Pantasy. So Pantasy um, was created by Ali. I love Ali so much. She is someone I'd consider a friend and I've been doing Pantasy since it started, I think three years ago. I think two or three years ago. It's been quite a long time. And Pantasy is finishing in October, which is next month. The finale is in October. Normally projects start and finish in the new year, but because I think it's like National Mythology Day or something like that is in October. So that's when it starts and finishes. So I have unfortunately decided that Pantasy is not going to be continuing into 2025. Just because I'm not going to be able to do this while I'm speaking. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get through a sentence now. So Pantasy is not going to be continuing, unfortunately. I feel like I've just kind of lost the spark with Pantasy. I feel like it's something that I've been doing for so long 
that now I just kind of want a little bit of a break from it and I want to try new adventures and new things. These are not even at all. Great. I'm going to go in with one of my favourite shades from Poppy Quiet, which is Silk Light. It looks white in the pan, but then you pop it on the eyes and it is like a bright orange iridescent-y kind of shade. It is just incredible but um what i'm thinking is that fantasy is five products which means like five products that i can love and get some use on in my wider collection without trying to hit pan or without trying to force myself to use them and things like that so i think it's going to be a really nice amount of products to reintroduce to myself it's also five products that i could get in pr that get used or five products that I buy myself that are new in my collection that I can have time and space to use. So the next project that I want to talk about is Deck of Panning and unfortunately this I don't think is going to continue either just because again it's one of those projects that I do love, I do still love it, but... I just feel like I need a bit of a break from it. I haven't been doing Deck of Panning for as long as Fantasy, but I've still been doing it for a, a few years now, and I just want a little bit of a break from it. I have been saying quite a lot recently that I want to cut down on some projects, and I think these two are the ones that make the most sense to me and to my channel. And again, that is five products, which gives me a total then of 10 products that I can get some more use on and that I don't have to force myself to use. Yeah, this line definitely isn't as smooth as the other one. I'm gonna try... Mm, this could ruin it even more, so bear with. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's very, like, minute details, but that looks better, I think, in my personal opinion. Definitely not like my nails. <laughs> definitely not at all but that's fine. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't have started with this black, I don't think, and maybe I should have done like a more orangey orange. This looks very red. I don't know. I don't know what I've done, but I've done something. Um, I might put blue fly maybe on the outer corner. I think that'd look cute. Yeah, that's just blended that really nicely, I think. I like that. That's cute. I've definitely noticed that deck of panning this year has been my least kind of reached for project. It's been the project this year that has kind of taken a bit of a back seat to everything else. And I think that it's just because I'm needing a bit of a break. I want to try new styles of content. I want to try things that are a bit different and constant project planning is just really, really tiring for me. I just don't think that it's something that I want to continue doing primarily on my channel and I'm gonna make the same disclaimer now that I made a few months ago whenever I made my first I'm quitting project planning video. I'm not actually quitting project planning. As I said in the start of this video, I'm still gonna be doing a lot of project pans. I'm still gonna be doing pan that palette, pan those eyeshadows, 10 uses is staying. Like I'm keeping a lot of stuff and I just really don't want people to think that I'm just like, see ya, you know? I'm not just giving up, going away, and doing something completely, totally different. I just want to grow a little bit. I've moved into this new studio now, and it's given me just, like, motivation and oomph to just, like, do things. To just, like, Mm, get in there, you know? So I'm gonna run off camera to do my base because I feel like this eye look took forever. I've been filming for 43 minutes. I don't know how long this footage is gonna be once I edit it down, but also my camera battery is not happy with me, so it will give me a good opportunity to charge my camera battery. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Mm, I don't know, um, comment down below all your thoughts, everything like that, but don't go away just yet because I've got the reveal to do. I'm gonna sit, watch some YouTube, chill out a little bit, and I will see you for you in one second. Alrighty then, this is the finished look. I did bail out on the flowers because honestly, 
it doesn't match. <laughs> the vibes weren't quite matched here. That's fine though. You know what? I still like this look. It still came out cute. Not what we were going for. Maybe I'll try again, but failed failed in that aspect. Also, the shirt, as I said before at the start of this video, I don't have a change of shirt. So just like, look, look this side. Look at this. There you go. <laughs> Obviously, the shirt doesn't quite go, but I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to make a video basically saying that Pantasy and Deca Panning they will not be continuing their journey with us into the next year and I'm really sad about it. I'm sure you guys have thoughts and feelings about it as well. Let me know down below. Of course, please be nice. There were a lot of comments and DMs that I got on the last video that I made kind of similar to this that we're not the nicest in the world so please just remember to be nice if you wouldn't say it in person don't say it to me online it's the same with anyone online I, i'm sure i don't need to say that to you guys but i thought i'd just say it nonetheless be prepared for a lot of new fun content coming your way i feel like my channel kind of got a little bit boring i feel like i was doing the same things every single month i want to change it up of course i want to do things that are a bit different and i feel like this is the prime opportunity i wanted to make this video now because as i said fantasy is finishing quite soon and i wanted to let you know beforehand before i just like drop it i didn't want it to appear like i just like didn't do the intro or something like i wanted to say we're not doing that anymore sorry but i'm excited i know a few of you will be upset but i am excited for this new journey i've got a game plan i'm focused i'm getting in there and i know it's going to be absolutely insane on this channel it is not a downgrade at all, definitely an upgrade. So this is it. This is where I'm gonna love you and leave you today, guys. I love this look. I feel like it's so cute, so cool. What do you think? Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Of course, it will be linked down below. It always is, as well as everything that I used on my face today. But with that being said, this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you today, guys. Have an incredible day, like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.